In a matter of months, the global health community will embark on one of the world's most ambitious vaccination campaigns as we seek to turn the tide on COVID-19. Guided by the World Health Organization's Fair Allocation Framework, vaccines will be distributed to the most vulnerable populations first. Initially, nations will vaccinate healthcare and social workers at the front lines, followed by elderly populations and individuals with underlying medical conditions as additional doses become available. This is no easy feat. Between the massive scale and urgency of this campaign, the need for segmented allocation of vaccines, and longitudinal regimen expected for many vaccine candidates and multiple vaccine types, we face an unprecedented challenge ahead. Overcoming this challenge requires the speed, scale, and flexibility of a digital solution. Building on experience deploying technology at scale and research on vaccination delivery, Demagi is planning to deploy an open source COVID-19 vaccine delivery solution. Our solution includes a mobile or web application for use by frontline workers at vaccination sites, bi-directional messaging for direct engagement, and real-time analytics to visualize the progress of the campaign. Data collection and service delivery are enabled through our open source platform, ComCare, which feeds data into the open source BI platform, Superset, for dataset visualizations. Today's demo features app functionality for vaccine administrators and outreach team members, direct messaging for vaccine recipients, and analytics for campaign officials. You'll see how vaccine administrators can register, screen for eligibility, and track vaccine delivery over time, how direct messaging can be used for dose confirmation and self-reporting of adverse events, how targeted follow-up by outreach teams is facilitated to ensure course completion, and how the dashboard can provide value for officials tracking the progression and efficacy of the campaign. I'll be switching between screens to demonstrate the various functionality. Let's jump ahead to 2021. Three vaccines have become available through the COVAX facility and the first tranche of doses 3% of each participant country's population have been delivered. In Bhojpur district of Bihar in India, the local administration has been hard at work preparing for their vaccination campaign. Sunita Devi, a resident of Bhojpur district, visits a vaccination site in a clinic near her home. When she arrives at the site, a staff member uses the application to complete the registration and eligibility screening process. The vaccine administrator provides Sunita with a reference number that can be used for follow-ups with the facility in the future. ComCare also offers out-of-the-box integrations with biometric tools. If Sunita were visiting a biometric-enabled facility, contactless biometrics could be collected during this registration process and used to confirm her identity when additional doses are given. This is not the case in Bochpur and thus, the unique reference number that is provided by ComCare serves as Sunita's unique identifier. Sunita notes down the number so she can use it in the future when returning to the facility. Sunita happens to own a mobile phone, and she provides the number to the staff member so she can receive SMS messages from the clinic. Since Sunita is a healthcare worker, she is eligible to receive her first vaccine dose today. The vaccine administrator selects the type of vaccine that Sunita will receive, and then the application helps to facilitate a pre-vaccination health check. Since Sunita is healthy, the vaccine administrator proceeds with administration of the first dose. She tells Sunita which vaccine she's received and the follow-up date for her second dose to ensure that she can plan ahead for her next appointment. She stresses that Sunita won't be successfully immunized unless she receives both the first and second dose on the right schedule. The vaccine administrator submits the form completing the client registration and first dose administration. Before she leaves the clinic, Sunita receives a message on her phone confirming receipt of the vaccine and her reference number. The message also tells her that she can reply with the word contact if she experiences any side effects and a health worker will get in touch with her. 
She's also reminded that she'll get regular messages checking in on her health status as part of a monitoring protocol. When she returns home, Sunita starts to feel a little feverish. This is not a side effect she was counseled she may experience. So she replies with the word contact and receives an automated message, letting her know that a healthcare worker will be in touch with her soon for follow-up. It's been two weeks since Sunita's first vaccination. And in that time, along with automated messages checking in on her health status, she also received an SMS message reminding her to return to the vaccination site for her upcoming appointment for the final dose. Despite the reminder, Sunita didn't visit the clinic on the day her second dose was due. As a result, she is added to the lost to follow up client list in the application to signal that she is at risk of dropping off and not completing the course of her vaccine. This view of the application is accessible for vaccine site administrators and can also be utilized by vaccination outreach teams as available. In Bhojpur, a small outreach team follows up with people who have missed their follow-up appointments to ensure course completion. A day after Sunita was supposed to visit the clinic, a member of the outreach team follows up with her over the phone to ask about her missed appointment. While reviewing Sunita's record, the outreach team notes that she had an adverse reaction to her first dose of the vaccine. While on the phone, Sunita shares that since she felt unwell after her first vaccination dose, she decided not to return and was hesitant to receive the final dose of the vaccine. The outreach team member counsels her on the importance of completing her vaccination course before the second dose expires and asks if she'll be able to complete her second dose. Sunita assures her that she'll be able to come to the clinic in the coming days. The following morning, Sunita goes to the clinic for her final vaccination appointment. When she arrives at the clinic, she reviews the reference number sent to her and provides it to the vaccine administrator so it can be used to pull up her record. The vaccine administrator can see that Sunita missed her initial follow-up appointment and uses the application to begin the process of recording delivery of the final vaccine dose. The application alerts the vaccine administrator that Sunita had an adverse reaction to the first vaccine dose and reported this via SMS. After reviewing her health history and confirming her vaccine type and schedule, the vaccine administrator proceeds with the pre-vaccination health check and administers the final dose of the vaccine. After administration of the final dose, Sunita is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Sunita is reminded that she'll continue to receive ongoing follow-up messages for the next several weeks so she can easily report any adverse side effects. Depending on her government's approach, Sunita will also now receive instructions on how to access her digital yellow card certificate that the solution is integrated with. As clients like Sunita move through the vaccination workflow to full course completion, program officers can visualize the vaccination campaign's progress towards herd immunity. In Bhojpur District, Rambalas is a district level program officer in charge of monitoring the progress of the campaign's operational status in his district. Using the key operational indicators tab, Ram monitors his district's performance to identify drop-offs between key campaign phases. He also monitors trends in distribution of vaccine doses to ensure the vaccines are delivered to the right population. He also monitors the number of clients lost to follow-up to ensure that clients are being followed up with before their vaccine doses expire. Ram is also able to compare his district's performance against other districts in his state. In the district comparison tab, he can figure out what percentage of the target population has been fully vaccinated in his district and monitor whether his population is experiencing any issues with adverse side effects. As the district lead for Bhojpur's COVID-19 vaccination campaign, 
Rahm is also responsible for monitoring vaccine facilities within his district. If he notices that facilities are lagging behind on vaccine delivery, his team follows up with site managers to ensure that they are equipped with the resources required for the vaccination campaign. What I've just shown represents one fairly standard workflow through the application. Everything you saw was real code running on web applications, but it can also be completed with the same user experience via a mobile application. The solution also includes workflows for the following. Self-screening and registration over SMS or WhatsApp, so those interested can be screened for eligibility without going to a facility and are added to a digital waitlist if they do not fall within the relevant criteria. Vaccine site readiness assessments for use by vaccine site managers prior to opening to ensure they are well prepared for the campaign. Health worker education and training counseling for vaccine confidence within the community, and we are working along with Medic Mobile to design digital workflows to support community-based engagement, counseling, follow-up, and vaccination where appropriate. Additionally, ComCare enables turnkey integration to digital solutions such as health worker registries, routine immunization registries, payments, biometric scanners, digital yellow cards, and health management information systems. In summary, we believe that this combination of an application to guide vaccine delivery and follow-up, direct-to-client messaging, and analytics is required to meet the goals of equitable and efficient allocation of COVID-19 vaccines. Thank you for watching this demo. Please reach out to covidvaccine at with any inquiries.